Well, hey everybody, it's Josh with Retro TV One Tech, and I am at the very last Radio Shack in Orlando. It's closing soon. You can see store closing behind me. You can hear the cars. We're out on the busy Orange Avenue here just south of downtown Orlando. This is a family-owned store that has been open since 1970 and in this location since 1998. And we're going to go inside. We're going to show you everything that's in here, some awesome relics and some incredible stuff. So definitely, um, you don't want to miss this video. If you ever went to Radio Shack as a kid, uh, you're definitely going to be taken for a trip down memory lane here at this Radio Shack store on Orange Avenue here in Orlando. So be sure to subscribe to Retro TV One Tech and uh, hit the like button, leave us a comment. Let's go check this awesome store out. All right, so here we are inside the last Radio Shack in Orlando, and you can see they're having the clearance sale here. They're closing in just a few weeks, get rid of everything on the floor and try and uh, move as much as they can. But it's really like stepping back in time to see. Uh, has it been years since I've been in one of these, and it's really cool to come back and see it again. You can see just some of the different parts and stuff, like a remote light control. different adapters always so hard to find these nice always nice to come into one of these stores and find exactly the adapter you needed and go home and use it we've got even uh say the products stuff that's what radio shack did a lot of in the last few years of course got some amplifiers here microphones kinds of different cords and things like I said it's always good to find just exactly the cord I remember when we our TV broke I had to come into a radio shack and get a soldering iron and they had exactly what I needed to be ready to go you have got some uh, VGA KVM switches that's cool keyboard video and fans lots of fans Some keyboards and mice here. And CDs, DVDs, <laughs> all the mice. An audio cable. You can do all your different audio and wiring projects and things. Got some landline big key telephones. <laughs> if you're here, Location here is on Orange Avenue in Orlando. If you come down, uh, everything is marked considerably down because they're trying to get rid of everything in the next three weeks. So if you're here in the Orlando area, definitely come and check it out and see if you can find anything that you need. It's a VGA to HDMI converter. Might have to grab that. <laughs> of course, we've got some routers and things. thing to see is all the different parts and stuff this is where when our tv broke a couple years ago i was able to come back and get exactly the capacitor i needed and just fix it right up that's super super cool and super easy have all that here go back to widescreen for a second leds all different things here so yeah tape decks here that's pretty cool to see you don't see a nice Sony tape deck very often there's a guitar here we got a Radio Shack multi-touch flashlight multi-tool flashlight lots of cool stuff circuits and kids stuff as well so this is the, one of the cooler things over here though is they have museum area over here got a reel-to-reel -reel tape deck here and you've got compact eye pack radio shack basketball which is super cool an old tandy 1500 user's guide a record player and an old brick phone here which is super cool so yeah so anyway mini cassette recorder 
and a repair area. So that's pretty cool. Hallstatt, Austria. But yeah, lots of amazing stuff here. The store was opened in 1971. So I'm definitely going to grab this because uh, it'll help me with my, um, it'll help me with my, uh, some of my conversions and things like that from the laptop. So that'll be cool. All different wires and things. One more look through this section back here. It's so cool. And you've got uh, all the lamps and flashlight bulbs and audio connectors. You know, you can wire up your own jacks and things like that. Diodes, resistors, potentiometers, capacitors, all that stuff. Okay, now this is pretty cool. This is an old 75 ohm TV game switch. Look at that. Oh my goodness, it's a Radio Shack branded. That is so cool. An old TV game switch. That's cool. Yeah, I may have to grab that too because that you can't find those anymore. That's pretty cool. It's not a Radio Shack branded one. That is pretty neat. Yeah, I would. That's the only purpose. Dad found uh, both cordless phone batteries and things here. Again, all Radio Shack branded. It's pretty cool. And again, it's pretty cool just to see the Radio Shack brand everywhere around here still. Uh, he said that they are discontinuing the brand uh they're not able to order anything uh, here coming in the next few months and so uh, they're not able to do that so they've just decided to come out of business because of that got the uh, radio shack branded batteries as well kind of cool to see taking another lap around here and see this old uh, radio shack business home paging system and some of these are just you can tell that's been here for a while i don't know when that came out or what year or model that is but that is just so cool to see some of that older stuff so cool kind of randomly walking around the store here but just looking at all these radio shack branded connectors it's so cool we've got all these different switches and jacks and things like that you can wire up your own stuff and here on the back of one of these products it says the division of tandy corporation fort worth texas of course tandy corporation is no more but that is where they were headquartered all right, everybody. Well, we have John Toothman. He is the owner of this last Radio Shack here in Orlando and has been here in this location since he said, well, I'll let him tell the story. <clears throat> yeah, thank you. So, um, no, we've been in three locations over 52 years. My dad started this store in 1970 and he had it about six blocks from here around the corner. Uh, my dad passed in 1984. My brother and I picked up and ran. My, my brother was a, a graduate student at uh, Florida State and I was an undergrad at UCF. Uh, after dad passed and we took over and um, I quit college to run the store <clears throat> my brother went off to finish undergrad or finish graduate school went off to medical school and he now is a resident of central Indiana um, I've run now the stores for 38 years and I moved we moved it two years after that to down the street about four blocks from here which we were for 12 years. So in 1998, I moved to here, moved the store here and acquired the building and have been here now for 24 years. So the building is now free and clear and been paid for. And that's been, that's the motivation for me to the value of my real estate along Orange Avenue. It's right. It's done very well. And, and you so, mentioned Radio Shack ended their dealer program as well. I think we were talking about that, that earlier. That was really the stimulant for me to make up my mind to let go. Um, yeah, we received certified mail back in April of this year that Radio Shack General Wireless was going to discontinue the dealer program. And uh, that occurred in July. And so we placed some of our last orders with Radio Shack back in mid-July. And we've been selling through product pretty much since that time. Okay. So, like I say, we're at the bottom of the funnel here. Yeah. You know? <laughs> So. Still cool to see some of the the you know, older stuff. Like I was, you know, talking about this. Yeah, that that uh, adapter there, and you know, all these different things that you know have been sitting there for. Yeah, that's this that's been sitting there maybe since you know who knows since 1984. Probably. Yeah, <laughs> we started that's, to ramp up the store. Yeah, when we went to Austria with the Radio Shack and Center. Radio Shack was an amazing company. I mean, yeah, you know, they they were founded 101 years ago. So that's um, pretty they were crazy. Founded by two uh, German immigrants in Boston. And there were eight stores that were bought by the uh, Charles Tandy Corporation in 1967. And he, uh, he started the franchise division at that time, which was also opening company stores. And he was very successful with corporate stores. So we stopped franchising in 1972. Okay. So there were only about 60, 70 original franchise stores. This is, a, this is one of two that still remain. The other one's in Arkansas. Wow. And then uh, nothing other than corporate stores for about 10, 12 years after that. Then he started the dealer program in the early, um, I guess it was the late 80s, early 80s. I'd have to think. Um, 
but there were as many as 2,000 independent dealer stores and about 8,000 corporate stores wow. before the bankruptcy of 2015. Right, and that's when a lot of it was wipe, wiped away. Yeah, most of it got wiped out. The Taney Corporation wiped out at that time, and another company, General Wireless, bought Radio Shack and took it private, which they maintained for several years. They sold the company to REV Retail E-Commerce Ventures in 2019 which then leased back the dealer program to General Wireless then. And then again, General Wireless just extinguished the dealer program back in April, right. which occurred in July. Okay. So there are still about 80 stores in the country making it happen, making okay. it work, dealing with other sources and other vendors across the country. And, you know, I say one one thing is like, um, when, when Tandy failed in 2015, um, independent dealers like myself were kind of forced to go discover where we could find products and things. Right, right. At that point, we, we came across many companies that were glad to sell products at wholesale prices. And so at that point, I say the genie was out of the bottle. And so this became a difficult thing for Radio Shack itself to, um, to really bounce back from that because at the end of the day, uh, Taney Corporation offered over 4,000 different SKUs. Wow. And Radio Shack, the new Radio Shack General Wireless promised to carry about 1,500 SKUs. They never even got to that number. They no. don't think they ever got past 1,100 items. And, you know, so through the, um, through the years, um, they just continued to dwindle down. So 15, then, you know, uh, then they sold the company in 2019. And when, when uh, the dealer program dissolved in July, they had fewer than 400 items on the line. Wow. And there isn't any reason for dealers to go to Radio Shack because they've got all these other vendors. They can get it wherever else, yeah. Radio Shack's strength was their private label. Yeah. And, you know, the strength was their independent brand. That it was the only place to get products. And right. They, they had a very strong niche in, in, in many categories, electronic categories, and very different than many big box retailers. I mean, there's a few overlap products in Best Buy and such, but for the most part, again, Radio Shack was very unique and very niche. And oh, this was the only place you could walk in and get a capacitor that you needed or whatever else. I was telling earlier while I was over by the capacitor, yeah, that I actually, you know, fixed my Samsung TV. Samsung wanted 300 bucks to fix it, and I found a, a instructional video on YouTube and was like, oh, just get your soldering iron, your capacitors, you're good to go, and I did it yeah. for 10 bucks. Yeah, you you know, so I mean, that's, I think that was the beauty of Radio Shack, that you could walk in and get it the same day. You don't have to order it, you don't have to wait, you could just yeah. get it right now. Yeah. So. And there's still a few stores left. There's about 80 in the country. Is there? Are there any more in Florida that you know of? Or? There's, there's eight or nine still in Florida. Uh, the closest one here is in Claremont. Claremont. Okay, I did hear about that. Yeah. All right. Very cool. Yeah, well, so I had three. I had that store and sold it to those, the, the ones that currently own Current the owners. The third store was in Orange City, and I closed that store during COVID 2020. Okay. Well, thank you so much for uh, agreeing to talk to us and telling us a little bit of the history of the store. It's been thank fascinating, you. and uh, congratulations for, for keeping it so long and for running it. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. And before we leave, I wanted to show you this awesome Radio Shack bag. He said he actually found these uh, in, in the back somewhere. Isn't that what he said, Dad? Yep, that's right. Yeah. That's pretty cool just so, to see an old Radio Shack bag. When's the last time you saw that? So exciting to see that. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad he had them. Yeah. All right, everybody. Well, that's all for now from the last Radio Shack in Orlando, uh, soon to be closing. Hope you enjoyed the video. We got to meet John and hear his story a little bit. He was so gracious to let us film in the store and help remember and tell the story of this amazing place. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I have fond memories of visiting Radio Shacks back in Indiana. It's so cool to visit one again uh, and get some cool merch and things uh, and even a Radio Shack bag and lots of neat stuff. So it's so neat to take a trip down memory lane. Leave a comment, let me know your memories of Radio Shack and uh, we'll see you soon. So for now, enjoy that tech and keep it retro.